Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss loading about a non-principal axis and to determine equations for ix and iy in terms of the second mode of area about a non-principal axis. So there's really two um, types or um, occasions in which we might want to use um, the equations that we're going to come up to um, rotate axes to the principal axes. So one might be when we've got a force at some angle uh, to the principal axis. So we've got a simple shape, a rectangle here, so you know where the principal axes are. They're just going to line up with the axes of symmetry. But your loading is in a way that you're going to have some component uh, affecting um, both of your second mode of areas about both the y and the x um, axis. So you would need um, to solve for the second mode of area about the local axes and then try and convert that um, into the principal um, axes. And then I guess the second um, type um, or occasion you might have when you want to be using these formulas is when you've got a complex shape where you actually don't know where the principal axes are. There's no axis of symmetry here. And so we're not actually sure um, at the moment where the uh, principal axes are and therefore we'd need to work out um, where they were and we'd first probably work out the second moment of area about um, the local axes and then convert that into the second moment of area about your principal axes. So I just want to quickly revise on what the principal axes are. So they're always located um, at the centroid, so the centroidal axes and they're orientated in such a way